Namaste. Welcome to the 14th session of this course, Yoga and Positive Psychology for Managing Career and Life. Today we are going to look at very important aspect of the intervention that is food. If you recall, in the last session, we discussed about three pillars of good health. Those are nutrition that is ahar, sleep or swapno, brahmacharya or self-control. We also discussed eight limbs of yoga, yam niyam, asan pranayam, pratyahar, dharana, dhyan, samadhi. If you look at these eight limbs, uh, yam niyam are uh, psychosocial interventions, asan and pranayam are psychophysical interventions, pratyahar is also mostly a psychological intervention which has some remnants at the physical level, dharana, dhyan, samadhi are predominantly uh, psychological and spiritual interventions. So, based on these uh, insights of Ayurveda and uh, notion of self and eight limbs of yoga, so we have identified a set, set of interventions which we are going to look at in this course. So, on the Annamaya Kosh, we are going to look at Ahar and Asanas as predominant interventions. On the Pranamaya Kosh, we will discuss Pranayam. For Manomaya Kosh based intervention, we will look at Yam, Niyam, Chitta Prasad, managing uh, negative emotions, how to use the uh, positive psychology and yoga uh, for managing negative emotions. We will also look at Pratyahar, Prati Ahar that is uh, enjoying within, going within for the true enjoyment. At Vigyanamaya Kosh, the interventions we are going to discuss are meaning and purpose in life, practice of karma yoga, dharana and dhyan and Anandamaya Kosh has the interventions like dhyan and samadhi. We are not going to discuss samadhi in this course, but we are going to have discussion up to the level of dhyan. Uh, different quadrants of good life are summarized in these four aspects, Ahar, Vihar, Achar, Vichar. These are the two sets of the life experiences or life activity are also used as the reflection of the basic quadrants of good life or healthy life. That naturally has implication on success in the career. If I have healthy body and mind, naturally I will be able to perform best in my career. So, the four quadrants of managing self and career can also be summarized in the form of Ahar, Vihar, Achar and Vichar. Ahar is food, Vihar is dwelling with whom we hang out, where we go, what kind of enjoyment we pursue what are the things which we enjoy, these are the different aspects of vihar. Achar is behavior, what should be our behavior? Our behavior also determines quality of our life and foundation of all this is vichar, thoughts. So, uh, other than the three pillars which we discussed in the previous session uh, that is nidra, brahmacharya and uh, ahar, these four quadrant can also referred as a quick heuristic to look at whether I am leading my life towards the nishreyas, towards the prayas or towards the shreyas. You might recall, shreyas is that path which is wholesome, which is good in the long run and prayas is that path which looks very exciting, alluring or sometimes tempting in the beginning, but long term result of that path is not wholesome, not joyful for us and for the people around us. So, these, this heuristic can also give us insight whether am I pursuing the path of Shreyas or path of prayers. 
today's session is primarily about food. Food in the yogic tradition and Ayurvedic tradition is not only source of energy, it is not only a means to nurture our physical body. Food in our tradition has a emotional, spiritual and social significance as well. That is why in our tradition, we human beings are not supposed to indulge into bhakshan, not just mere act of eating. The prasad is the ultimate form of food. Prasad is that which is prepared with the reverence, that which is taken after sharing with others and that which is first offered to the universal being and from there we take our share that is prasad. So, the ideal of the food in this tradition is not bhakshan, but taking prasadam. The spiritual significance of food is very beautifully reflected in the Bhruguvilli in the Taittiriya Upanishad. The story in the Taittiriya Upanishad goes that there is a, a very bright disciple Bhragu and his father is Varun. Uh, Bhragu apparently completed his education, came back home and Varun the father asked him uh, how was it and Bhragu said that was wonderful, I have learned a uh, lot of things. And then uh, uh, Varun asked have you learned something after knowing which nothing is left to be known. That made uh, Bhragu a little perturbed because he said that this kind of topic did not occur after knowing which nothing is left to be known. And uh, then the Varun explains that in our tradition, in our family, uh, people are called Brahman, the, the people who understand, who have experienced the Brahman, the ultimate reality and also uh, you also must know that, then only you will be the worthy uh, of progeny of the ancestor who were Brahmagyani in our, in our family. So, uh, Bragu became a disciple to his own father, ask him uh, to direct him uh, in on the path of self-realization or uh, Brahma Gyan. And uh, uh, father said to him that go and follow Yamas and Niyamas, do Tapa and with the Tapa you will get insight. So, the first insight Bhrugu got after the Tapas, after the rigorous life and rigorous thinking that is reflected in the in this mantra which says that annam brahmeti vyajanat annad bhavet khalvimani bhutani jayante annen jatani jivan, jivanti so annam annam brahmeti vyajanat i know an as brahma annad bhet khalvidani bhutani because through the an only all bhutas all organisms originate Annen jatani jivanti and they are able to sustain their life only with the an. So, that was his first insight. So, this is also uh, a sutra where the notion of panchakosha is established. Human self is nothing but the encased aspect of Brahman and that encased is of an, of man, of vigyan, of prana. So, uh, uh, we discussed about the Panchakosha model of self earlier. This is the sutra from there the origin of Panchakosha model happens and an is identified as the first layer of self. Physical body we all know is made up of an. So, naturally that is accepted as the first layer of self. Uh, Bhragu actually went on doing uh, tapas and keep on coming with the new and new insight and that is how the other layers of the self are identified in this Upanishad. We are going to talk about those other insights in the, in the later sessions. Coming back to our discussion with the food, there is a clear understanding and appreciation in the Vedic literature that un what we are eating is result of the whole cosmic system operating in certain way. So, the food on my plate is not only 
my earning or my catch food in my plate is uh, given by the universal order it is universal order through which food is made available to me and that is beautifully captured in the bhojan mantra I learned this bhojan mantra in my school in Saraswati Shishu Mandir and this bhojan mantra goes like Om Yantu Nadiyo Varshantu Parjanya Subhitpala Oshadiyo Bhavantu Annavatam Odanvatam Mamikchavatam Esham Raja Bhoyasana Odan Mudbruvati Parmeshthiva Esha Yadodana Parmave Mainam Shriyang Mayati May the rivers flow and clouds give rain that is the first source of Anna. May the plants yield good harvest, then the plant, it is only through the uh, rivers and with the, through the clouds, plants get nourishment and they give good harvest. So, may I become the king of all those having plenty of food, boiled rice, curd and milk. Food is praiseworthy. Odan Mudbravati. This food is verily Brahman, the creator. This will lead to greatest prosperity in the form of health and wealth. So, before taking food, we invoke gratitude to the whole universe because it is because of the river, clouds, rains, plants, and people working to harvest all that. We are, we have got food in our plate. A spiritual aspect of uh, food is also reflected in Bhagavad Gita, where Sri Krishna explained that Brahmarpanam Brahmavi Brahmagno Brahmana Hutam Brahmaivatena Gantavyam Brahma Karma Samadhina. This ladley used for offering ghee in the uh, yajna is Brahma. Offering is Brahma. It is being offered by Brahma in the fire of Brahma. The destination to be attained through this Brahma karma samadhi is also Brahma. Aham vaishva naro bhutva prani nam deham ashrita prana pan samayukta pacham yanyam chaturvidham. That is the next verse in the Bhojan mantra which says that it is I who take form of fire of digestion in the stomach of all living beings and combined with the incoming and outgoing breath to digest and assimilate the four kinds of food. And after that in the Bhojan Mantra, it is said Om Pranaya Swaha, Om Apanaya Swaha, Om Vyanaya Swaha, Om Udanaya Swaha, Om Samanaya Swaha. Pran, Apan, Vyan, Udan, Saman, these are the five dimensions of Prana. We are going to talk about Pranamaya Kush. We have already had some discussion about the Pranamaya Kush. We can have some interventions at Pranamaya Kush, and there again we are going to talk about these five types of pranas. What this shloka suggests, it is the universal power which is behind the power of digestion of food. That is Vaishwanar Agni. So, this is the reflection of notion of food in yogic tradition and in the Indian tradition. <laughs>